Hi, and welcome to Crypto Lion, your one stop shop for news about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We're committed to serving you and giving you the latest news as soon as it emerges. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also turn on post notifications. We're sure you don't want to miss anything, but just in case you did, please go ahead and check out previous videos. So today we'll be examining the big Bitcoin crash that might be coming. A lot of people don't see this coming, but of course, we will be considering some analysis and you'll see for yourself why we think a crash is imminent. There's also the big question of whether 40k is the top for Bitcoin, and if there will be a big crash, then is 40k the maximum we're expecting at this time? Let's find out. But before we do that, let's catch up on recent events. All of these are pointers and indicators that we need to consider before we predict the next Bitcoin movement. Bitcoin made a quick run for the 40,000 level earlier this year, and there's been speculations that it may even reach six figures this year. But of course, it won't just continue on this run. There will be corrections, retracements, and even a possible massive dip. For now, most people are talking about the rally that has seen the digital currency climb more than 700% from a March 12 closing low. This may have been as a result of increased demand from institutional, corporate, and more recently, increased retail investors' actions in the last year. Investors were attracted by the prospect of quick gains in a world of ultra-low yields and negative interest rates, and they're now in the Bitcoin world looking for these gains. Some investors viewed Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation amid enormous monetary stimulus aimed at battling the economic devastation caused by COVID-19. Market participants, though, are now warning about an impending correction after that massive rally Bitcoin pulled on everyone. Gavin Smith, the chief executive officer of cryptocurrency consortium Panzora Group, said that though further growth seems to be certain, investors should not expect this move to be in a straight line. He also said that the reality is that Bitcoin is far from being a magic money tree, nor is it free from downward price swings. In fact, we can expect dips as sharp as 25% at times as investors periodically withdraw profits. Bitcoin's surge happened as the market cap for the entire cryptocurrency sector topped $1 trillion on Thursday, according to data trackers. Glassnode, which provides insight on blockchain data, noted that retail interest in Bitcoin has increased in the last few weeks, with the number of Bitcoin addresses or wallets holding at least some of the virtual currency reaching an all-time high of more than $33 million. Let's talk about why the price of Bitcoin makes such surprising drops. One of the reasons is because of Bitcoin whales. The reason for the drop can be partly attributed to crypto whales who are capable of depositing large volumes of their Bitcoin holdings to exchanges in order to cash in on Bitcoin's record highs. Similar events happened with Bitcoin back in 2017, when there was a bull run, when whales contributed to a major shift in the cryptocurrency's value just by moving their assets to other platforms. The blockchain analytics firm Into the Block also showed that from November 25th to 26th, Bitcoin whales unloaded 93,630 bitcoins in different exchanges. This totaled to over $1.6 billion worth of bitcoins. Another report noted that the movement of bitcoins out of OKX also played a role in this scenario. OKX users were disgruntled with the platform after withdrawals were forbidden for weeks after Chinese authorities allegedly arrested one of its key holders. This resulted in an outflow of around 29,300 bitcoins from the platform, which was worth around $500 million. CryptoQuant's data also shows that even the amount of Tether held in OKX wallets had dropped by 97.6% within just a week. What this reflects is that users began transferring their assets to a different exchange or their own cold wallets. CryptoQuant CEO Kiyong Zhou explained that on-chain indicators continue to reflect a strong buying pressure. This means that the bull market is not ready to end anytime soon. However, he also noted that when the whales are active on exchanges, the likelihood of Bitcoin's price going sideways or down is also high. Here, Joe noted that there is a danger zone for Bitcoin that users have to be wary about whenever they plan to hold new positions. Then again, many believe that the price drop was to be expected, and is in fact a good thing. That's allowing Bitcoin to let out a bit of steam before it ascends to dramatic new heights especially since the price trend is still similar to the pullbacks from before that ranged around 20% in other recorded bull runs in Bitcoin's history. The drop has been accompanied by a massive liquidation of multiple derivative positions, amounting to almost $2 billion. This led to what's called market overheating, which is seen from the futures market being overleveraged. Basically, this meant that the value of perpetual contracts has become much greater than the value of Bitcoin and its underlying equity. Much of Bitcoin trading is so complex and interwoven with sophisticated trading and institutional products such as futures, leverage margin trades, and decentralized finance protocols. A sudden slide in Bitcoin's price can set off a chain reaction of automated responses executed by trading bots within milliseconds.
leading to an abrupt oversupply of Bitcoin and a further steep drop in price. According to cryptocurrency analyst Joseph Young, when the funding rate fell to 0.011%, it reflected the fact that Bitcoin perpetuals were oversold following the deep price drop of around $3,000. This supports the claim of other analysts that there was, indeed, too much leverage in the market. Young added, however, that the price of Bitcoin remained resilient at $18,000 despite the overselling. Another possible cause for a drop is the rumor about regulations. United States regulators have always had a dysfunctional love-hate relationship with Bitcoin. There are rumors circulating that the U.S. Treasury Department is planning to implement a mechanism where they will become empowered to monitor the crypto wallets of users. Didn't help that Brian Armstrong, CEO of Coinbase, publicly tweeted his concern, and a lot of people started selling their crypto assets. Also, there seems to be a lot of traders who are impacting the market, and they should not be underestimated either. They are certainly a large group of battle-hardened Bitcoin investors and hodlers who are waiting patiently to recoup losses or maximize their profit, that is to sell their Bitcoin at record high prices. Bitcoin is still very volatile and anybody can win in this game. Savvy investors are aware of this and I want you to know this too. As a result, when the price dips sharply, people become anxious and start selling. While many Bitcoin holders may propagate the unstoppable rise of the currency and predict near future highs totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars, in private, they might not be quite so optimistic. As the saying goes, buy the rumor, sell the news. Predicting when the bull run for Bitcoin will end is not quite certain because of a lot that is happening in the world at present, such as the pandemic, the US presidential handover, and the dangerous potential regulatory fallout. It's nearly impossible to determine the next steps of crypto whales and how the existing positions in the market are going to move. Until clear regulation also stops blatant market manipulation behavior, we'll have to accept that anything could happen to the price of Bitcoin. Before we decide to hold new positions or get out of existing ones, it's very important to understand that there are many stakeholders in the market and that they each play a significant role in the movement of Bitcoin prices. Don't be easily swayed by FOMO or FUD, which means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Do your research and act accordingly. This chart is titled the Big Correction Chart because it shows that this is a massive correction. It's different from what some have been speculating, that we're only in for a small correction and the bull run continues just shortly. Let's take a look at it together. This bigger correction has some couple of smaller corrections within it, but we should not allow that to distract us. The focus should be on this bigger correction, because it has the potential to drive fear, uncertainty, and doubt. This chart shows that in the long term, we expect a consequent bull run, but that the correction will be a massive one and, like we said, it could spell a panic. Here in this chart, the bottom of the correction is set at 30,000, but Bitcoin can be very volatile and the major thing is to be prepared for this massive drop in price. This chart here shows that Bitcoin is likely to go lower than it did on the 4th of January, when there was a correction from its new high record of 42,000. The retracement pattern is also pointed out on this chart, which helps us to understand why we should expect another one. Look at the first retracement at around 30,000, and then another one here at 32,000 from high and volatile positions. The chart predicts we're in for a long, impulsive dip, which promises to be massive. For now, we're looking at a dip of about 27,000 from the bull position. This chart also shows that Bitcoin is not expected to make a run to break out of its new high, but would rather continue on a bearish movement. However, we are looking out for a long-term uptrend, but for now, the expectation is a downward movement. This is important for a healthy upward trend in the long term. Here in this last chart, we'll notice that it's very likely that Bitcoin will crash down. Notice how the RSI is trending lower, as well as the moving average convergence divergence indicator. This shows that we're likely in for a low ride. It's also visible on this chart that the 21 exponential moving average, or EMA21, that there was a bounce after which a lower high followed. The next stop is probably the EMA50, and that's the next support at around 27,000. The bounce after the correction is just a decoy, and now we will most likely start to see a proper correction as the price of Bitcoin begins to descend. Remember that Bitcoin is very volatile. You need to be sure you know what you're doing. So stick around for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. Good luck investing. We'll catch you next time.